Hi, I'm Kim, and today I'm going to show you how to make that sweet molasses water that everyone puts in their worm bins. So let's get started. So the first thing you're going to need is some unsulfured molasses. It says it right here on the label. I use the grandma's unsulfured. That works great for me. The second thing you're going to need is a water bottle, a 16 ounce water bottle. Um, I get these spray bottles at Dollar Tree. I like to use a brand new bottle and not reuse the chemical bottle just because this is going into my worm bin and I don't want the worms to accidentally get poisoned or something if I didn't rinse it out properly. The other thing you're going to need is some dechlorinated water that's set out for 24 to 48 hours. Now this has been sitting out already and I found it easier if you warm up the water for about 45 seconds in the microwave. That's going to help dissolve the molasses. So the first thing I do is label the bottle. I always want to make sure that I don't accidentally spray something into the worm bin that it's not supposed to be there because I use these same spray bottles in the garden for organic pesticides. So I usually fill the bottle up about two thirds of the way. That way it gives me a lot of room to shake up the molasses. So all you need to do is put two tablespoons of molasses into the bottle. I'm probably going to use the funnel just because I'm really messy. I'll still probably spill this all over the place. Yep, that's going to go everywhere. <laughs> we'll let that drip in for a minute. So the mixture doesn't have to be exactly two tablespoons. I mean, it's so thick, you're going to get a little bit more, a little bit less in there. And then what I like to do is just shake up the bottle. And that way this warm water is going to really help dissolve the um, molasses very quickly in there. And once I've shaken the bottle, I'll just finish filling it up with the water that's been dechlorinated. That's also going to clean out the filter a little bit as well, any extra molasses that was in there. One thing I will make sure to tell you is that if make sure you wipe your jar down really well with a wet paper towel or something before you put the lid back on because this stuff is very sticky and you'll have a really difficult time trying to get the lid off the jar if you don't. And then I just shake it again to make sure all the liquids dissolved and you can see at the bottom there's no more molasses. So that's all you have to do and next I'm going to show you how I apply it in my worm bins. If you like this video please subscribe to my channel. It helps me to be able to provide more content like this. The way I use the molasses is I put it down before feeding. So as you can see here I've put some shredded coffee filters in the bottom and I'm going to put some food on top of that but before I put the food on top I'll spray the molasses on there just to sweeten up the coffee filters so they will be more attractive for the worms to eat. I don't want to put too much in there because obviously it's supposed to absorb the moisture from the food but just a little spray to give it some flavor. If you're interested in how to make these wonderful fluffy shredded coffee filters. I'll put a link to the video in the description. The second way I use the molasses is when I put some food on top of the bin for the worms to eat, like this worm chow that I spread here, and I just put a light spray on top of it just to wet it down a little bit. It also helps the food start to break down a little bit in the bin. So between the moisture and the molasses spray, that should start breaking down really quickly and it'll be available for the worms to eat. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to check out the next video on four things you can shred for worm bedding. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.